I've been trying to get to the bottom of what's going on at uh, the Kayenberg Wind Park in North Rhine, Westphalia, in Germany, and I think I've just about got there. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Ben Alexander. If you're new here, it's good to see you. On the face of it, it doesn't make sense uh, until you really dig deep. And actually, this is something we knew was going to happen uh, 21 years ago when the coal mine uh, was put, uh, built, and the plans said that uh, in 20 or so years, I can't remember, it, it had a date, uh, we will uh, tear, install some wind turbines and take them down and we will actually rebuild them somewhere else with a modern equivalent. So that was all written 20 years ago in a plan. So actually they're not just knocking down new wind turbines uh, to make, you know, make coal, uh, this coal mine grand and big. Uh, actually it's quite the opposite. So if you just look at some of the statistics that really uh, give some context to this, Germany is uh, produces more wind energy than anywhere else in Europe. And uh, actually a lot, even if you put it against other countries that are really large, like the USA. So Germany has a population of 83 million people, and it has about just under 30,000 wind turbines. I'll not get into how much energy they produce, but they're, they're pretty good. The USA produces, uh, has 331 million people, and it has 70,000 wind turbines. So it's doing pretty well. Uh, we're talking about eight wind turbines uh, that have been in a plan for 20 years to take them down uh, to make way for um, upgrades to the coal mine. Uh, now this is sort of catalyzed and uh, been rushed through uh, with uh, the Germany. Germany's cabinet has passed a decree last month to bring back idle brown coal capacity uh, to boost supply as imports of Russian gas through the Nord Stream one pipeline have grand to a standstill and we're coming into winter in germany so of course they're quite happy to just rush things through and i think there was something about uh, a um protection for wildlife uh issue and they sort of uh pushed it aside a little bit which is not very nice but i think they're in a bit of a situation in germany this year already germany has produced and uh not produced as has built 400 wind turbines as of this month, it was 365 by September. They're doing really, really well with that. Uh, and that was 5% less than last year. So not much fluctuation in it. They are consistently just putting up a lot of wind turbines. Uh, I don't think their long-term plan has much coal in it. So I don't think there is an issue with that. I don't think we should be worrying, um, you know, that there's some sort of big scandal going on behind this story. Since wind farms in Germany are no longer eligible for subsidies after 20 years old, um, it is likely that these ones will not be uh, taken down and rebuilt somewhere else. Of course, they've already said they will they will rebuild uh, with new ones next year. Uh, so, uh, and you know, 20 years old in the wind turbine world is getting on a bit. It's not um, doesn't mean that they need to come down, but it is a little bit on the old side. Uh, and they do produce a lot of energy, these particular wind turbines that we are talking about. Spokesperson for the RWE, Stefan uh, Gudo Stefan, said, We realise this comes across as paradoxical, but that is as matters stand. Rebuilding the turbines to make way for the expanding mine was part of the original agreement that allowed the wind farm to be constructed in 2001, he added, and not a result of recent change of German energy policy. This is pretty clear from from other things that you can read about this and, and uh, the German cabinet. Since wind farms in Germany are no longer eligible for subsidies after 20 years, and these are 20 odd, 21 years old, it is likely that there will be new ones built somewhere else, which has been confirmed. We know that to be true. So that's what's going on here. It's actually just that they are a little bit old and it was in an agreement that it would be built for 20 years and then taken down and relocated. So that's what's going on. Um, it doesn't read very well when you read that a coal mine is having eight wind turbines taken down. Australia in 2022 has a population of 25.74 million people and puts out a grand total of 453 megawatts. Germany currently puts out 64,000 megawatts with 83 million people.
So uh, I don't think there's an issue with these wind turbines being, being relocated and rebuilt anywhere. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next video.